by Adam Boric. Go ahead, Nolan. Adam, congratulations on the win, man. A pretty dominant performance against a tough guy. Is that what you saw going into the fight? You thought it was going to play out that way? Hey, guys. Yes. You know, I wanted to fight against a really tough guy. And he is. Honestly, I asked him, you know, fighting against him, and I got it. And yeah, I dominated him. I'm so happy for my performance. But I can get better, you know, Huawei. So next week, I go back to the gym and continue the process. And the leg kicks were killer. Was that a big part of your camp? Is that something you came in with expecting to uh, have such success with? No, you know, I am, I'm always in camp, you know. I want to get better every day. I was focused on my striking, and my punch was really hard. You know, my jab was money. And I, I was focused on my takedown defense, and I, I show everybody, you know, now again. They can take me down, but they can hold me down. So, and if... If they take me down, they cannot do damage on me because I have the best coaches on the world yet. Some for the MMA, so so I'm ready for everybody. And when we talked to you last year in your, your previous fight, you said 2021 is going to be the year that I make a run at the title. Um, sitting at number three and getting a win over a guy like that, you feel like you're on pace still for yeah, that? Definitely. I feel I'm the next. And so you, you think that the next fight that, you know, you'll fight the winner of Pitbull versus Sanchez, what you're shooting for? Uh, Pitbull, uh, Pitbull versus uh, yeah, McKee, yeah, yeah. sorry. Yeah, this is my goal, but let's see what Bellator wants. You know, uh, I am really happy. You know, I, I get opportunity to fight again during these crazy times. So, you know, I, I feel I'm ready for a title. I have eight or nine fights in a Bellator. So, yeah, I would like to fight for the title next time. Congratulations. Thank you so much. You said this was the best fight camp that you've ever had. I'm just wondering what was different this time around in your opinion? So I told after the fight, uh, you know, I moved here to Florida like since 2017. Yeah, it's almost four years. And every time when I went back, I was staying there just one month. And always I came back like, oh, I wish I, I, I could stay more there. But after my last fight, I went back two and a half months and I came back like, okay, I'm, I'm ready. I felt the same like when I started the martial arts. I want to be the best in the world. And now I feel, I feel the same. I have so much motivation, you know. So I, I, dream, I dream big now. So I feel like always who is 17. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Um, what's it like for you as well having such great minds in your corner like Gilbert Burns? Yes. You know... At some for them, maybe we are a family, you know. Gilbert, he's he's my brother, you know, and and I I, lo I love my team, you know. They are not just my teammates; they are my brothers. We always push each other. Hey, if if you wanna see hard sparring, just come to see me and Gilbert. When I am 170, 75, I can spar against the guys who who fighting in 170. <laughs> All right, we'll take a few more questions here, Joe. Adam, congratulations, man. I know you said that you like the, uh, you know, the title next, um, but would you like to wait it out and, and see who wins Pitbull McKee and then see how long it takes them to get back in the cage? Or, or would you like to stay active and, and, you know, if it takes a while, get back in there and fight maybe an Emmanuel Sanchez or, or someone else? Uh, let's see when is the final and after figure out. This year, I would like to fight one more or two more times. So I want to fight just maximum three times a year because you know fighting in 145 for me it's it's a not an easy cut you know and i always train hard and 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 but i you know i, I really i really want to fight uh, again uh, for a title but let's see what bellator wants you know they are they are really uh, good with me always so let's see what is next and, and, you know, you talked about Sanford MMA. There's something in the water over there as, as you know, it's it's arguably been the gym of the year here in 2021. I mean, to bring another win home for Sanford, um, you know, talk about that. You know, we have so many killers over there. And I think something is different over there. You know, it's 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 a game changer. Yeah. yeah. If you want to see paper use sparring, just, just let me know. <laughs> Keith. Hey, Adam, it's Keith Schillen from SureDog. Uh, first, I want to say gratula, Lunk, on the victory. Uh, first, 
Uh, you're 27 years old. Would you say, you know, you had such a great performance. Would you say that you're just now reaching your peak years? Yeah, you know, uh, I can say this is the moment when I am ready. When I lost against Caldwell, I'm never going to forget that. Coach Greg told me, like, this is the time when the kid, kid became a man. And that last have, helped me a lot. And that's why I'm a much better person and martial artist today. But 2021, this is my year. I want to be a world champion in Bellator. Now, we keep talking about the world championship, Pitbull versus McKee. You were in that tournament. You say you want to face the winner, bro. Who do you think wins? Honestly, I don't know now. You know, it's Pitbull was very impressive in the last Just two fights. I, I don't know. It's a 50-50, you know. But I next time, I definitely want to fight against the winner of the tournament. Ben? Hey, Adam. Uh, great performance tonight. If you had a preference between Pitbull or AJ McKee, who would you rather fight? Who do you think you match up with the best? I don't care who, who holding the bet. And do you think that you will have a title shot by the end of the year? Yeah, end of the year. Yeah, I, I think end of this year. I, I'm going to fight for a title. I, I, I hope they, they're going to fight June or July. And after, I don't know, November or, or December, I can fight for a title. Last one here, Dylan. Hey there. You had mentioned just a bit earlier in the scrum that cutting down to 145 isn't necessarily the easiest there. Is the path to 155 pounds maybe something coming sooner than later? Uh. I, I think I have two more years in this division, but you know, fighting catch with 150 is good, but I am I'm too small in 155. I, I wanna stay in 145 two more years, but you know, I have to take care of my body because I wanna I wanna make a long career, so I don't wanna kill myself. All right, thanks for the time, Adam. Congrats on the win. Thank you so much.